Okay, so next step is when we're going to get a little bit crazy. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set up a blend shape for our iris. So now we're going to go into the rigging phase of this tutorial. Right, so open up my outliner, window outliner. Let's begin. So I'll click my iris here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a duplicate of it. I'm going to go edit, uh, duplicate and I'm going to drag this off to the left hand side here. Actually before I do that I need to do some quick changes. So I'm just going to isolate the selection by holding down shift and pressing I and I'm going to select F10 and select the edge loop here and I'm going to scale it to something like this. This would be when the iris is fully open. Okay, now F8 and deselect and shift I to bring back everything. Let's look at the iris here and I'm just going to duplicate it now. So as before, edit, duplicate and then what I'm going to do is drag it out to the right hand side here. And I'm going to give this a, a name which is right iris uh, open blend. Actually, uh, I'll put the blend prefix here at the front. Right blend, iris open. Oh, sorry. Closed. Because what we're going to do is we're going to hook up this as a blend shape to drive our uh, iris here. So first and fourth and foremost, I'm going to edit the shape of this. So I'm going to select the inside edge here and scale it in to what I suspect would be the minimum or how close we would like it like so and you don't freeze the transforms on this guy you leave it as is so with this in mind I'm going to uh, select it as our source and select our iris as our target and we're going to apply a blend shape to this particular uh, right iris here so I'm going to change to the animation menu I'm going to go to create deformers create blend shape and hit the options box here I'm going to give the blend shape a name and I'm going to call it uh, my right uh, iris apply it can close that now and if everything has been done correctly if I open up my window uh, general animation editor sorry and go to my uh, blend shape it should display uh, a slider here which will enable us to open and close our iris okay so that's the first uh, part of the rig uh, partially done here. Okay, nice. So I'll close this off, and what we're going to do is uh, create a custom controller for this particular object here. So I'm going to hide my uh, my blend shape iris over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom controller and then hook it up. So go to my front view. And I'm going to create my favorite uh, object for custom controllers, which is a circle. And I'll just do it roughly here and make it this big. So I'm going to go to my make noob shape, change its radius to 1. And I'm just going to snap it to the grid here by holding down uh, X. And I can snap it to here. And I'm going to modify and freeze transforms. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to call this my uh, right uh, iris uh, control and I'm going to delete its history. I'm going to make a duplicate of it and this is going to serve as my right iris control or right iris um, uh, guide and this is just a fancy thing we put in the background and essentially I'll just go to my damn you, guide I'll go to my component mode and I'm just gonna scale it a little bit so the objective is to essentially just create a kind of a guide like so uh, whatever you want it to be. Okay, it doesn't really matter. You can spend a bit of time on that as well. Um, so it just basically indicates the uh, extents of what I'm going to be using for an animation here. So 
I'm just going to template my guide. Uh, go Control A, and I can go to my uh, transform and template it. So it's much more difficult to select. Okay, so let's hook it up. So <coughs> I'm going to select my controller here, and then I'm going to select my uh, right iris uh, in the scene. So Control Select it. Then I'm going to open up my uh, rendering editor's hypershade. So what we're going to use uh, for hooking this up is a utility node. Um, so if you look down in your Maya, uh, create options here for utilities. And we should be able to see all our utilities for our creation here. All right, so with this open, I'm going to uh, map import Apple connections. So with it uh, mapped like so, you can see the two objects we're interested in here. I already selected, so we're going to hook these two objects uh, actually, now we're going to select the, our blend shape uh, node here, and we're going to hook it up from here to here. So what we're going to do is our blend shapes operate on a um, zero to one basis. So we're going to have a different value here in the y-axis. So uh, up here we intend it to be uh, fully open which would be 5 roughly and fully closed which would be negative 5 so what we're going to need to do is repurpose these values into uh, 0 to 1 and the easiest way to do this is with a set range um, uh, utility node so looking through your list here you will find one called the set range like so and I will give this a name I'm going to call it right iris Iris uh, range, and I'm going to middle mouse drag the uh, source to the target, select uh, other, and I'm going to take the translate uh, y value here and hook it up to my uh, y value here. Okay, and then I'll take my right iris and middle mouse drag it from the source to target, so the target being the iris, uh, blend shape uh, node here, and go more again. Uh, where's it going? Come on. Default, whatever. Just get it back up. So we can take the out value y of our right iris range um, node and input it into our right blend iris closed weight here, which will directly control our uh, eye or iris more to the point. So that's hooked up so we can close that now and what we'll do is I'll double click my right iris here and I'll just minimize this and we have uh, our values here we need to determine the result over here. So I'm just going to copy the tab off so we can always see what's going on and I'll just close that off. So alright so we have here my controller here which is currently at zero position so actually zero position we want to be half blend weight uh, driven over here on our iris. So essentially what we'll do first is set up our old mins and old max. The old mins and old max are the values for our controller here. So this would be uh, the point where our old max is, this is our old min. Okay, so this would be 5 and this would be negative 5. Okay, so uh, simply put we need to put these values in here. So old minimum would be negative 5 old max will be 5. Okay, and this is really simple. The minimum will be 0, the max will be 1. And what you'll have now is the ability to... It's a little bit the opposite. You would expect it to go the other direction. It's okay. What we can do is change this to 5 and this one to negative 5. Whoops, 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 it didn't work either. So, let's uh, go back. And actually, we'll leave those values as is and we'll flip our iris control here. So, what we'll do when you pull it down, it should close the eye. When you go up, it will open the eye. Nice. So, essentially, what you have there is a control, which will allow you to basically go up and down. So, what I'm going to do 
is close this off. We've now hooked up our first control, which is our right iris control. I'm going to go to create a uh, text here. And I'm going to call this right uh, iris. Apply. Close. And uh, just drag it down a little bit. And control A. I'm just going to template that as well. So you can't select it. And in my outline here, I'm going to select my right iris guide. I'm going to turn on my display handle. Hmm? Template off. Okay, I need to go to my right iris shape instead and go to my object display and template it through here instead. So what that means is I now have a point on my guide that I can snap to. That's uh, a nice sort of way of pinning it together. So what I want to do now is um, this guide only goes up and down. I don't want it to go anywhere else. Uh, so I'm going to go into the uh, transform node of my shape here. I'm going to start doing some uh, limit information. So I'm going to expand my limit information here. Translate. And I'm going to limit it in the y-axis to negative uh, 5 here and positive 5 here and my current value I'm just going to set to 0 okay so what that means is I can't go any higher or lower than those values in here I could set up the other values to stop it from moving around like so but I would actually do this through the channel box so what I'm going to do now is start freezing out so lock and hide these values right click lock and hide and I'm going to hide my visibility as well so what it is now, it's completely locked out in that particular axis there. So we have a nice little controller with the ability to um, point snap it with V to the center here to zero it back out. All right, save the scene. So what we have now is our first custom controller. Very nice. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, so let's set up the eye itself. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to get in here and expand this a bit and grow it just to be a bit little bigger. Okay, so hopefully this will work alright for us. Should do. But now what we're going to do is set up the bones for driving the uh, uh, what the eye is looking at. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my animation menu or on my shelf here, look for animation here, and I will look and select the create bone option, which should be joint tool here, and I'm going to click and create one bone. So what I'm going to call my head bone. Um, okay. So I'll just change to geo. So I'm just going to prefix it with the word geo, geo head or geometry head. So I can call this nice and easy head. And I'm going to change its radius to about two. All right. So I'm going to snap it, uh, grid snap it X to here. And I'm going to duplicate it. Uh, control D. And Essentially, what I'm going to call this one is my right eye. Um, so, I've got this one here as well. So, I'm going to call this geo right eye. Um, and this should be zeroed out. Whoops. In the world, it changes radius to about uh, three or four, just to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to turn on shading, x ray joints so I can see it. And on my outliner, essentially this will be um, uh, parented to my head. So I've got a middle mouse drag on top of that. So wherever my head moves, this uh, uh, right eye is going to go. So, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control my eye mesh with this particular uh, right eye. So I'm just going to select my right eye here and then my right lens, uh, geo right eye, my right iris, 
and not my head. I'm going to leave this out of the selection and I'm going to skin, bind skin, smooth bind and I'm just going to do it with my selected joints and apply. So essentially now if I move my right eye joint around I can now move my eye like so. Okay, so let's set up a controller for this. So what I'm going to do is essentially create a locator, which is always a good way of controlling the eye. Drag this out, let's scale it up a bit so it's easier to see. And this I'm going to call my right eye control. I'm going to freeze transforms, but modify freeze transforms options. I'm going to turn off the scale.